I was fascinated by the, the difficulty of the subject and the honesty with which the teams and the patients tackled their challenges. I'm a haematology trainee um, and I've got a particular interest in haematological malignancies. Um, I think it's one of the most interesting areas. We work in the laboratory as well as in clinical care um, and you can really see um, a difference in patients if they're, if they're managed appropriately. I was fortunate enough as part of my training with my then um, interests uh, to work at the Royal Marsden Hospital with a couple of outstanding oncologists, Tim McElwain and Michael Peckham. Um, and it was just an overwhelming experience for a young doctor at that time. Um, and those of you who know the history will know that it, around about that time the first successful chemotherapies for testicular cancer were coming through with cisplatin. Uh, the medium, medium, early to medium results of the treatment of Hodgkin's disease, combination chemotherapy were coming through. Uh, so I was meeting large numbers of people who had been cured of their cancer by these approaches who would never have been cured even two or three years before and I was delivering these treatments on the, uh, on the ward and it was just uh, an overwhelmingly exciting experience for a young doctor uh, and, and I'm, I'm still trying to recover from that. So this is something which I just found really interesting. So um, a lot of oncologists uh, do really worthwhile research in the lab or uh, developing drugs through clinical trials. I think medical oncology personally for me was the obvious place for me to end up um, as, uh, uh, because I have an interest in, uh, in drug development. I think it's a fascinating thing to take a, a, a disease that has got uh, limited treatment options and you're trying to improve it. I think that's that's really fascinating at multiple levels, not just a scientific level uh, and an academic le level, but also a direct clinical level with patients and, 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 and instructing that interaction. I think that mixture of, of treating people whose disease threatens them adds something to the doctor-patient relationship. And then you've got the academic element of that as well and I think you can develop a very enriched clinical career because of that. Oh, well, it's a combination of science and humanity for me. So um, I have a lab, which is wonderful. So I'm really fortunate and I get to you know, get stuck into trying to answer difficult questions at a very early point. And as a consequence of that, I surround myself with really talented young scientists who are dedicated and much more intelligent than I am. And then I get to go to clinic where I, you know, I understand what I'm doing and I'm helping people on a daily basis. We were told when you apply to medical school you must never say I want to be a doctor because I want to help people. But the reality is for most of us that's, that's, what it, that's a big part of it and I definitely get satisfaction from that. Um, I think there's something about um, seeing the day on day and week on week effect of the things that you do that's quite uh, interesting and challenging and then throws you back into the kind of research questions about why that's happened and trying to kind of interrogate that and pull it apart. What I like about um, being a medical oncologist is uh, that relationship where you get with your patients and the, the fact that because they are on treatment they're coming quite regularly, you get to know them well, you get to find out what their priorities are because often they have a life limiting cancer and so it's important to know what their priorities are in terms of quality of life and quantity of life. Um, I really like that communication aspect of the, the job. Um, and I like um, educating the patients so that they can help make their own decisions about their own disease and what, what, uh, what treatments they may or may not want, weighing up the risks and benefits of toxicities. Probably the satisfaction of a long-term uh, relationship with patients and also I enjoy the laboratory side. I think for, me for medical oncologists there, there are many, many uh, exciting parts and there are many different uh, individual responses to that question. I think people love the science. So medical oncology is grounded firmly in understanding the science of what we do, whether it be with uh, immunotherapies or vaccines or chemotherapies. Um, I enjoy the colleagues. Um, oncologists are very patient-centered doctors. They, they are trying always to squeeze the best survival, the best quality of life, the least toxicity out of what are difficult and challenging and complex treatments. So they're great colleagues to work with. But I think probably the top of the list for me is that patient-centred dialogue. It's the, it's the interaction with patients. If you, if you work with your patients, if you concentrate on their needs and their issues and what they want, you will always benefit them. If you concentrate on the treatment and you concentrate on the disease, 
you might or might not feel to be achieving anything useful, but if you concentrate on the patient, as you can in oncology, uh, you will always feel a sense of, of value of what you're doing, which is, which is a great stimulus, of course. I think one of the issues with current medical training is that there's more pressure to finish your training as soon as possible and it becomes more difficult for people to do extra jobs, perhaps outside a core training program, um, to get a taste of things. Uh, we have uh, doctors doing one year fellowships with us uh, and that gives them a taste and an opportunity to uh, do research, write papers, enrich a CV. And I know sometimes it's um, scary to think of interrupting your career to do something because there's so much institutional pressure to finishing early. But r really, you've got so much time as a consultant or as a senior lecturer, lecturer um, uh, having a, a couple of extra years in your training that really helps you confirm that it's the right thing for you, I think is time very well spent and I'd encourage people to do that. Um, so if, you're, if a, a junior doctor or a, a, a medical student is thinking about a career in oncology, I'd say that you have to like people, you spend a lot of time with patients as an oncologist talking to them, um, you have to have a passion for science, um, medical oncology is very much about um, sort of cellular mechanisms and cancer and new drugs, new drug development and whilst you might not be directly involved with that, I don't for example run a lab or a phase one unit but I'm still enrolling patients into a number of cancer studies. Um, attend lots of conferences about where it's all about the science of the new drugs. It's very exciting to be involved in that area. I think medical oncology is a great career. I think the balance between the exciting science and the opportunity to practice a very patient-centred kind of medicine is an excellent one. You, you can find that elsewhere in medicine, but it really comes out very strongly. It's very exciting, it's very satisfying, uh, it's very worthwhile. Uh, so I think oncology allows those who want science and to focus on the benefits for patients. Uh, to really have a satisfying career. I think that if you find the group of doctors who uh, think like you, that's probably going to be a comfortable place to end up working long term. In the end, I think uh, both your patients and your colleagues have to be groups of people that you get on with. I think it's an incredibly exciting place to be working at the moment. And if you just look at it from a financial perspective, the, the greatest investment in medical research is around in and around cancer, cancer biology, cancer evolution, cancer prevention, and cancer therapeutics. So if you're interested in being at the cutting edge of science, whilst also being a clinician, there is no better place to be. It's a fantastic career. I feel incredibly fortunate that I've ended up in it.